Hey everyone, and welcome to Multiverse Media, the channel that talks all things geek culture. I'm Asher Friedberg, and today we finally got an official trailer for Venom Let There Be Carnage. Before I show off the trailer, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share to help our channel grow. I say either, you guys say either, I say neither, and I say neither, neither, either, neither, neither. Let's call the whole thing off. Ta-da! Catch up. Excuse me. Yummy. Good evening, Eddie. Hey, Mrs. Chen. Good evening, Venom. Bunsen Hall, Mrs. Chen. He says hi. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. I've been thinking about you, eh? Two can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number. Because you and I are the same. Every decision we ever make. Who do we leave behind? And how do we leave them? Waiting in the darkness for the rescuer who never comes. Welcome back, Eddie Brock. It's been a long time. I miss you so much. Come chaos. Chaos. Soon come. Chocolate delivery hasn't arrived yet. No! We had a deal. What's gonna happen? You gonna stop protecting me? I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen! No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? Nothing. So in this trailer, we kick off seeing Eddie Brock and Venom living together, and it appears that they are both fairly comfortable with each other at this point. They seem to have developed some kind of a rapport with each other, whether or not that means Eddie doesn't get frustrated with Venom. Next, we see Eddie Brock and Venom enter Mrs. Chen's convenience store from the first film, and it now appears that after she witnessed Venom murder that guy, she now appears to be aware of Venom's existence, and maybe even the circumstances of why Eddie and Venom are together. Here, we see San Quentin Prison, where we saw that Cletus Cassidy was being kept in the first film. Fun fact, Assuming that the SPUMC will in some way be connected to the MCU, this is the same prison Scott Lang was kept in prior to becoming Ant-Man. Next, we are reintroduced to Cletus Cassidy, who appears to be on death row. We see him being kept in prison, and there's a brief sequence where we see him punching a concrete wall and damaging it, meaning at this point, he could be bonded with the Carnage symbiote. We later see a man reading a newspaper detailing Cassidy's multiple crimes, and yes, this is in fact the Daily Bugle. While this does appear to be the same logo as the Raimi trilogy of Spider-Man films, that universe already had Venom appear, and he died in it. I think this logo is just a nice callback to the old films, not a clue that this film is set in the Raimi-verse. We get a brief shot of the Ravencroft Institute, a popular Marvel Comics location known for housing Cletus Cassidy, as well as previously being a house of worship for the god of symbiotes, Null, who could very well appear at some point in the SPUMC. In the Ravencroft Institute, or perhaps just a trick of editing, we are introduced to who I believe is Shriek, a love interest of Carnage in the comics. In the comics, Shriek is also a mutant, but I'm sure we can expect to see that part of her history overlooked, if not just rewritten. We get a super creepy welcome from Cletus Cassidy, directed at Eddie Brock, and I gotta say, I love the way he's playing this character. 
it's super unnerving. Next, it appears that Cassidy is being executed for his crimes via lethal injection. But as the poison begins to enter his bloodstream, we see the Carnage symbiote take over and protect him, and then begin to wreak havoc. We get a few short shots of Venom going after a detective, Shriek screaming in captivity, and Carnage breaking out of San Quentin. Finally, we get our full look at Carnage, and I think he looks great. I'm glad he isn't as beefy as Venom, and appears to be thinner with a lot of tendrils, which is how Carnage is meant to look. After another look at the scene between Mrs. Chen and Eddie Brock with Venom, we see Carnage once more in front of a stained glass window, likely in a church. This could be a reference to how in the Raimi trilogy, Eddie Brock was bonded to Venom in a church. That's about all I was able to pick out from this trailer from just a first glance, but tell me in the comments, are you excited for Venom Let There Be Carnage? Do you like Carnage's movie look? Let me know in the comments! Thank you all for watching, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and share, and I will see you all next time.